Hello there, Master Hellish here and welcome to Open TTD tutorial number 4. Today we'll be looking at buses, depots, roads and bridges and tunnels and all the road vehicle type things. For that we'll need this button here to bring up our road construction options. Now I think what we'll do is we'll start somewhere over here where we've already got some items and we'll link up some of the places we've already worked with. So um, let's start off Let's start off over here near Bennington and we'll get a piece of road. Now this, these two roads here are the different directions. So you can go like that and it, ah right okay. The road I want to build will go like that but you can't build on a slope like that. You can build on a slope like this because it will build it up here. But you can't build on a slope like that without it building up all the way along. Now. I don't want it to build up all the way along, I just want little bits. So what I'll do is we'll put the road here like this. And then I'm going to use this tool here. Now this tool allows you to just add little bits like that. And it also allows you to do different bits of roads in different directions. For example, you can do that. Like that, like that, like that. So it's it's quite good that tool like that. I'm just going to remove that because I don't want it. And we're also going to get rid of this house here and then put a piece of road in. So we've linked those two places up, but then what I'm going to do, this bridge is already here, so we're going to make use of that and we're going to bring a road from that bridge down there like that, and we'll make it nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, a little bit of hill there, so we'll bring up the land tool and just pop that piece of land down like that. And then there we go, and then I can connect it up. So we've now connected up three of our towns and cities. And I'm just going to now zoom in on one of them. And we'll take this option here. Now this is your bus station. You choose your orient orientation first. We'll have, we'll have that one because I want to put one there. There we go. It's put one in, that's, uh, that's covered quite a lot of the city. And then we'll put one in somewhere over here. Oh yeah, we'll, we can't do it over that park there. But um, what we can do is we can just pot it there. Now, we'll come back to that in a second. And then we want one in here, we'll put it there. Now similar to the docks, you can't get vehicles straight from the bus station, you need a depot, so there's a road depot button, which is our orientation, we'll use that piece of road there, and instead of putting one in each of these places, I'm going to put one in the middle, and then I'm going to get rid of it, and place it in the right orientation, there we go. So, let's go back to this where I said. Now, I'm going to zoom in a bit here. The graphics go a little bit funny, but that's fine. But I really want you to see that these two have merged together. Now, that's when you place two stations next to each other. They become one. And it doesn't have to be just one type, you see. So, we now we've got the docks and bus station. Now, you can rename your stations. And I think it's appropriate to do that. Because it's, it's not just a dock. It's a, it's a bus station as well. So, we'll just leave it like that. There we go. So now we're going to need some road vehicles because we've got the depots, we've got the bus stations. Let's go here to this one, click on it, new vehicles. We've got different types of buses and trucks. Uh, we'll just start with a bus for now. And I'm going to make that bus go between there and there. And then I'm going to clone it. And then I'm going to get a new one and make the new one, vehicle number three, go between that there and here. Where's it gone? There we are, behind that tree. And then I'm gonna clone that one as well. And then finally, I'm gonna get a new vehicle over here. And we'll go from this place all the way straight up to that place. There we go and then I will clone that one. So let's set these four on the go, and we'll set these three on the go, we'll clear the screen with delete, and you see, they're all on their way. 
all with their different orders, and they'll just drive around. No danger of them crashing into each other, you don't have to worry about things like that. They'll work their way around themselves, and they'll go backwards and forwards. The only other thing I wanted to cover today with regards to road vehicles is the way to build bridges and tunnels. Now, we didn't actually have to do that, because there was already a bridge in place here, and there was no hills to tunnel through. Now, there is a bit of a hill here. I'm going to zoom in just for this part. So, I'm going to, first of all, transparency options. There we go, so we can see. You can see we've got a bit of a hill here. Now, you could leave it like this, so they can go up and over the hill. You could actually flatten the hill. But what I'm going to do, just to show you, is I'm going to put a tunnel through it. Now, I'm just going to wait for these two vehicles to go past. Fast forward slightly. There we go. So, what we're going to do is remove this piece of road here, and remove this piece of road here. And then we get the tunnel button, and before that one gets there, oh, of course. This bit's been built up, so it's it's causing problems. Let's get rid of all the road. There we go, all the road's gone. And there we go. Just click on the slope, and it'll place a tunnel. Um, you could click on the slope there, but it goes through another tunnel, so it doesn't always work like that, depending on your settings. Now, be careful when you've got the tunnel tunnel open. See, so you can place tunnels like that, like that. You can't do it on a slope. One side has to be flat. If the other side isn't flat like that, it will flatten this side to make it work. But you have to start on a bit that is flat and, and level, a level slope, not an angled slope. So that's how you put that in there. We just need to fix that piece of road. There we go. And let's see. Hmm. Let's put a little bridge in. Let's pretend that we're going to have some something going across here, like in that sort of orientation there. I'm just going to quickly take out this road, there we go, and I'm just going to build up the land to make it nice and even. You can use this even tool and it will level that section, there you go, see. And what we're going to do, we're going to pretend that we're going to have something going under there, so we want a bridge. You can start on slope land and go to flat land if you wish. And once you've selected it, it'll give you the type of bridge you want to choose from. And it'll give you a maximum speed. We'll put a suspension concrete in there. And that would then, in theory, allow us to build separate things underneath. So if you wanted to do uh, like a, a highway underneath, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that. Now notice I use a different remove tool there. Now this one does different removes in a different way. So, for example, if we put a piece of road in like that, and then like that, and then decided, oh, hang on a minute, we don't want all of that. You can use the bomb tool to blow this up here, and you could use it there, but that'll get rid of the whole piece of road. If you just get the road and the remove tool rather than the bomb tool, you can actually just take off part of the road. Now, I can't do that at the minute because uh, we can do that side, you see, like that. Okay, so we've got a bridge in there for no reason whatsoever other than to show you guys, but that, that's fine. And we put a tunnel in there to get through a, that hill. And we've got some vehicles going backwards and forwards, some road vehicles. Just press delete, clear the screen. Now, let's see how many passengers are waiting at that place. Oh, not many. The road vehicles are obviously uh, covering that quite nicely. Few uh, passengers waiting at that place and uh, oh, lots of passengers waiting at that place. Okay, well, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just how you can merge road construction with airports now, because we've done it with docks. So I'm going to go over here. There's a nice little space there. There we go. We've got another um, bus station, but because it was right next to that airport, it joins in. You can see the icon there. It's got buses and planes. So I'm just going to pop in this shuttle bus. One bus... I'm going to get that bus from there. And what it was there, I didn't actually click on the station. I clicked on one of the buses in the station. So what we'll do is just highlight the order and delete it. Highlight the order and delete it. Click go to. You can click, I think, on the sign as well. No, you have to click on the station. There we go. And we go from that station to that station. And he's just going to go backwards and forwards. It's not probably going to make a lot of money, but that's fine. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's road vehicles. Um, we'll get on to uh, doing goods vehicles and stuff in a later tutorial. But for now, that will be all. 
I will say thank you for watching and see you next time.